Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, according to your time. When you take see this our news now, and so I tell the great to now for inside this channel. If you just join us for the first time, we say thank you. Just click on the subscribe icon there so that anytime when we drop news for this channel, you go there among the first people when YouTube go they notify of what they apple for Nigeria and outside Nigeria, our country. If you're a returning subscriber, we say thank you. Just keep sharing our video, let it go viral, let everybody know about this channel. The story will more we come on our way soon from Anambra State. This one are the Inspector General of Police. Nine don't come at come make a public say he don't give 9.3 million naira to families of slain police officers. All the police officers were not women for inside Anambra State and it's a virus. He said Nigeria government don't release 9.3 million to share amongst the officers them, their family, when they lose their, their loved ones. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Al-Kali, has presented 9.3 million naira to families of 13 police officers who lost their lives in active service in Anambra State. The police spokesperson in the state, Tochuku Ikenga, disclosed this in a statement on Friday. He said the Commissioner of Police, Anambra State, Echeng, Echeng, presented the checks to the families on behalf of the Inspector General of Police. Those police were there on active service when attack come from known IPOB people or some other criminal elements for the environment. So they don't give their family 9.3 billion naira on behalf, 9.3 million naira on behalf of the Nigeria police. The gesture is an initiative of the Inspector General of Police Family Welfare Insurance Scheme aimed at giving succor to the family of police officers who went to ROIP in active service. Also, the gesture is aimed at spurring officers to greatness while discharging their statutory duties with the assurance that their welfare is of paramount importance to the administration of the force. Mr. Eshen thanked the IGP for the welfare of officers, Mr. Kenga said. The commissioner urged the beneficiaries to use the money wisely by investing it in a profitable venture that will improve the living conditions of their family. So they are not just carry, carry the money, go they flex, they do things when they're not they relevant. So they are using well so that they will feel benefits from the family. The IGP carried out a similar gesture three months ago in the state. The statement said, say not be this one, be the first one. Say three months ago, the, the IGP does still do this kind of thing for the Anambra community. Police officers and officials of uh, other security agencies have been the target of deadly attacks mainly in Nigeria Southeast by government believed to be part of the Biafra agitation in the region. Say so policemen and they beat their attack. They, they, they come like this one attack. The first split people where they go meet that the police and security officers and they, they quick go attack. That is the Biafra people. So the indigenous people of Biafra, a group leading the agitation for the creation of an independent state of Biafra from the southeast and some parts of South South have been accused of being responsible for the deadly attacks in the two regions. Say so for the two regions, now IPOB, now be their suspect, now they do all this evil havoc for the state and for the some of the South South region. Say so they don't notice, say the people where they carry out this evil act of killings of the police officers and security officers, now IPOB because they want the creation of their own state as government, Nigeria government, not going to give them. And they say, okay, we know who will go to fire. The people where they fight against criminals, that they will go to attack. Now, as the news take on us, so we'll take bring I go see you now for inside our next video. We'll take care.